everyone and welcome back to my channel so if you're new thank you for coming if you're old i appreciate you for coming back today we are going to test out you know stick foundations we are going to see if it's as good as liquid foundations i mean there are other brands there are brands that have stick foundations like anastasia beverly hills and you know all these other ColourPop and all that but most oily skin or combination skin people are afraid to try out stick foundations because they are scared that it will make them more oily or very very dewy and that's not good for oily to combination skin or combination to oily skin so today i'm going to test it out and i'm going to use the black opal truly topaz shade that's the shade that i use and i'm also going to use the akara stick foundation to do my contour so let's just start right into it i've already done my brows with my best Mia beauty brow pen so you guys should get it you know what for primer i'm going to make this two today that's my smashbox photo finish foundation primer and also my Rimmel stay matte um, foundation primer so i'm going to go in first with my photo finish primer all over my face we want to keep the skin hydrated underneath not all that you know dry but we want to keep it very very you know hydrated because the thing is if you have combination to oily skin and then you keep on using matte matte products without using any hydrating products your skin is going to feel like you're losing you know all the oils the natural oils that you have so it's going to keep producing more so we are going to keep you know our skin hydrated underneath I've already sprayed my face with my looks artistry rose water hydrating rose water mist before i applied my moisturizer and now i'm using my primers so now i'm going on top my i'm going in with my remel stay matte primer onto my oily areas which is my t-zone area okay so there's a new way that i've started doing my foundation highlight and contour routine all in one and i'm going in with my fun my fun concealer from early girl i'm using my evita joseph's multi buffer brush to apply it onto my face i'm going to apply it onto my other places that i'm going to highlight which is my under eye my forehead my chin and on, on top of my nose and i've realized too is now that my skin is good there's no need for me to layer on you know more products on and on and on and on and on so that's what i've been doing of late and then the next thing to do is to go in with my carob foundation stick from black opal I'm going in with my truly topaz foundation stick. Secrets, tell me your secrets. Uh, and I promise to keep them. Promise to keep them. The next thing to do is to blend everything out, and I'm using my BH Cosmetic foundation brush. Oh, it's a brush. It's number number three. So I'm going. I'm blending out my foundation first. So I'm going in with my Bethany Beauty Blender to get rid of all the SX products. Yeah. Okay, so now that we are all set, I'm going to set my foundation with my setting powder and I've mixed my Benite, my Benite Translucent Powder with my Sasha Bataka Powder and I'm going to use that to set my whole face. Now I'm going to set my whole face with my hydrating rose water from BJ's. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I baked my face and I contoured and did all that. But I'm going to finish up my whole face and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I'm going to go out. It's really, really hot. Seriously, it's so hot that I don't know. But... I'm going to do my best and keep you updated on how this, you know, stick foundation is going to work on my combination skin with all this prep that I have done. So, um, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so I'm back home now and my face is still looking very, very much like how I did it first. Um, well, I like it just that my shade has become, I've become a little bit darker now. So I was looking a little bit fairer on my face than that, but aside that, it's really really great it's a great product and i'll still say 
you can go ahead and use it if you have it so that is my final take on this black opal stick foundations i hope you guys did enjoy this video as usual don't forget to like and subscribe and comment in the comment section below let me know what you think i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys